Fully the sign of Aquarius. Hello and welcome to my channel. Recent past energy. We got this beautiful Empress. And it's with Six of Pentacles, which is not bad. Now the Empress. It's the type of person that doesn't play by the rules. She has her own way of doing things. Her own ideal of what is right. And what is wrong in any and all endeavors. Now... Keep in mind, this doesn't mean she'll always get away, but she is a reminder not to ignore your creative and intuitive side. It's about coming abundance. But don't make the mistake of thinking that that will always mean financially, because there's many types of wealth and riches in life. And we all know that money is only one of them. Now, the Empress can encompass all of them. Now, like I said, it's with the Six of Pentacles. Six of Pentacles, it's about things taking a turn for the better, particularly when it comes to money. Because when you hear the word Pentacles, that's money, cash, coins, finance, income. It's one of the more positive Pentacle cards in the tarot. It speaks of equality, fairness. And the nature of life. Now, when you get this card in a reading, you're likely to be heading in a really, really positive cycle. Six of Pentacles is often a card about generosity. It could mean that you're about to be the beneficiary or the giver of something of value. So share what you have because there's always someone who needs it. So basically, it looks like the recent past energy between you and the person in this connection. Empress clarified by the Six of Pentacles. So what I'm getting for some of you is that you're with someone who is very generous. Yeah, this person likes giving. They're a giver. And, um, uh, they find you, they're very attracted to you because the Empress is about a deep love. It's about people finding you far more attractive, both for friendship and romance, more than one. So it's a potent time for love. So like I said, for some of you Aquarius, your person, they're finding you really attractive. I don't know if they're seeing you in a different light. If this is a new person or you've been with this person for a while. But the um, relationship, it's, it's become sweeter, deeper, and more truer under this influence of the Empress. And um, it's showing that because it's with the Six of Pentacles, it's a good relationship. And your person, um, if they're not um, being generous now, they probably will start to be. But it's showing that this is the recent past energy. So some of you are with someone that likes giving. They're a giver. And um, they're attracted to you. They have deep love for you. And I know what some of you are saying, well, my person is not a giver. You probably feel like you do all the giving. Well, actually, the Six of Pentacles, it can be, mean that you're about to be the beneficiary or the giver. So it could go either way. But the story that I'm getting is most of you, you're with someone that is very generous to you. They like giving to you. But this is the recent past energy. And they find you very, very attractive. So just remember, the roles can be switched. You could be them. They could be you. So let's move on over. Let's take a look and see what we got coming up for the present time, the second week of October. Well, we got the King of Swords and the Nine of Cups. Now, the King of Swords, it can stand for a very powerful, opinionated, forceful man. He will, but not always have hair on the darker end of the spectrum. 
It could go either way. You could be tempted to think only about how things affect you personally, especially if this card is not representing a man in your life. So you might want to consider the feelings of others before you act. The King of Swords is a very, very forceful, forceful energy. So you may not be able to get this man in your life to change his mind or to do what you want. So you might need to change something major about your behavior, maybe your thoughts or expectations. Now, it's with the Nine of Cups. The Nine of Cups is beautiful. It is known as the Wish card in the tarot. Very uplifting. It's a very pleasant card to receive in the reading. So when you get this card, what you're hoping for or dreaming about is most likely to be yours in a very brief period of time. It's about happiness, good things to come. It can also mean that what you want is likely to come into being in your life. And if you're asking a yes or no type of question, well, the Nine of Cups, it is the most powerful indicator of yes. So, you, you might be dealing with, um, you might start to feel like your person is being very forceful towards you. Yeah, but you're happy with this person or they're happy with you because Nine of Cups is, it's a wish card. Maybe this person is someone that you wish for or the connection feels like it's what you've always wanted. But this person, they could start to be very forceful. I don't know, like I said, I don't know if this is a new relationship or an existing one. But this King of Swords, they, they can be the type that overstep their bounds. They can be considered stereotypically manly. Very, very forceful. So for some reason, they might feel like they have to be this way towards you in the upcoming weeks in October. Um, for some reason, maybe because, I don't know, maybe some of you are, didn't think they were generous enough and they don't like, they don't like it. Because the recent past energy is that they were very generous to you. But something is going on where they feel that they have to be really forceful with you. But you do find this person to be um, a wish come true. You feel blessed and satisfied to have this person. I don't know what's going on, but something's coming up where they feel they have to be forceful with you. And they have to use their head over their heart. And they, you might feel like they're, they're not treating you like the way you think they should. And the reason why I say maybe you think they're not giving enough is because I keep looking at the Six of Pentacles. Where they're, they were giving in the recent past. But coming up in October, maybe they slowed down. So something's going on. But you still feel very, you still have very strong desire for this person. But like I said, coming up, they will start to be forceful with you. And you're going to feel like they're not treating you or they're just not, maybe they're not as generous coming up in October as they once were in the recent past with you. So your person is going to put their foot down. Yeah, but you're still happy. Now, let's move on over and let's take a look and see what the challenge is. So we got the Knight of Wands, and it's with the Ten of Pentacles. Now, the Knight of Wands, it's an interesting energy in the tarot. It's showing it's a great time for travel if you can get away. It's about feeling charged up, full of energy, ready to get things done. Your self-confidence is increasing. It helps to work towards your goals. Now, Knight of, Knight of Wands, it does indicate messages. It's a message bearer. 
and the messages are positive. Could be related to work, romance. Uh, it could go either way. Now, this Knight of Wands is a very fearless type of energy. Could be Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, really confident. It's with the Ten of Pentacles. It's saying that you have a great deal to be thankful for. Your relationships, finance, health, all these things should be going really well. So you might need to consider how you got to such a happy situation. Make the best of it. Be sure to share what you have. Even if it's only a kind word spoken to someone in need. Because we all know we get back what we give out. Yeah. Whatever you put out to the universe or whatever you put out to people, it comes right back to you. So the challenge is that it's interesting because the Nine of Wands can be about an in and out type of energy. In and out. Yeah. What I'm picking up for most of you is that you might start to feel like you should have one foot in and one foot out. I'm getting this reading is it's only for a select few. This is not a reading for a whole lot of you Aquarius. Yeah, you're starting to feel like you should have one foot in and one foot out. And this goes back to the recent past energy. It goes back to generosity, that word giving. Some of you feel like your person should be giving you more. Yeah. So you're thinking your person put his foot down or she put her foot down and said enough is enough. But you want more. Maybe it's not money. Maybe it's something you want more. And they were already generous to you. So you're thinking, I sh you're thinking you should have one foot in and one foot out. You shouldn't be in this all the way. But you see, you do see, underneath it all, you see this person, this connection as a wish come true. Now, because it's paired with the Ten of Pentacles, yeah, you like this person. You do, because Ten of Pentacles is about the connection moving to the next level, maybe marriage, commitment, childbirth. Or this person sees you as someone that they want the end all be all with. So right now, looks like you you might be a little bit upset because you didn't maybe it was your maybe for a lot of you let me see this is Aquarius it's not the birthday season I don't know why I'm getting that a lot of you for some reason you're celebrating something and you were expecting more I was gonna say your birthday but no it's not Aquarius birthday season it is not but yeah some of you want more Maybe, like I said, maybe it's not financial. Maybe it's something else. You didn't get what they said they were going to give you. You're still happy with this person. But, yeah, some of you are feeling you should have one foot in and one foot out. Or make them think that, you, or you maybe you're going to start to make them feel that you only got one foot in and one foot out. Yeah. But um, this person, they want the end all be all with you. And I'm picking up that you want the same thing. But for some reason coming up in October, they have to put their foot down with you in a very forceful way. And it's something about generosity it has something to do with that. Now, that's a challenge. Now, let's see what the outcome is going to be. Yeah, we got this Ten of Cups. And it's paired with the Ace of Pentacles. Now, the Ten of Cups is one of the most uplifting cards that you can receive. It points to happiness, perhaps in a more mature kind of way. 
great card to see in a reading. It speaks of happy family life, even if you're single, to the general overall well-being that goes beyond you yourself to include those that you're most concerned about. Your parents, your siblings, children, your pets, and much more. You could also be spiritually fulfilled at this time. It's a part of the picture. So yeah, things are feeling like a dream come true. Now, because it's with the Ace of Pentacles, which is likely to find yourself enjoying new beginnings on several levels, and these are very positive new beginnings, so you're feeling really optimistic, upbeat, hopeful about the future, and things should be going really well. You could be starting something new very soon. This could be work or personally, but it's a really good thing. You got two beautiful cards for the outcome. Ace of Pentacles, if you're with someone, if you're seeing this person, or if you two are living together, uh, it could rise to new and better heights. So, or if this is someone new or someone from the past, you two will reconnect with this Ace of Pentacles. Beautiful. And it's going to feel like a dream come true. Ten of Cups is a dream come true. So this is basically, a, it's a happy reading. A lot of you Aquarius, you feel like you're in a good relationship. Because you got the Nine of Cups and the Ten of Cups. And the Ace of Pentacles is, is not bad. The Ace of Pentacles is about new beginnings. So this could uh, turn into commitment, marriage. The person wants to end all, be all with you. And it's going to bring about new beginnings. New beginnings in your life. So yeah, whatever whatever you're disappointed about, yeah, it'll probably, it won't last long. Yeah, something, something about generosity. When your person put their foot down. I don't know if you were demanding more something yeah they put their foot down but this person has a lot of attraction for you deep love they see you as the empress and you're happy but you're gonna you're gonna make them think you only got one foot in and one foot out because you don't like that they put their foot down so that's what we got coming up for you for second week of October. So Aquarius, I hope this resonates. As you know, general readings, they do not always resonate with everyone. Then again, if you like the reading, please comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified when I post my next reading. I will also put a link below for the extended of this reading where I'll go over how you both feel about the situation, what's in the near future for the two of you, how you see yourself, best case scenario, and what will happen between the two of you in the next few weeks.